Hi everyone, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and I'm very excited to bring you this unboxing and review of the Sony Cybershot DSC-WX1 digital camera. Now this new camera from Sony is just on the market. It has a new 10.2 megapixel CMOS sensor called the Exmor R, five times optical zoom, a wide angle lens, 24 millimeters at the widest angle, and it uses some really clever technology, which I'm gonna be showing you later on in the second part of this review. So let's take a look at what you get for your money inside the box. Okay, so we get a CD. This has got um, uh, the application software and handbook for the camera, and also picture motion browser, music transfer, and setup guide. Uh, for the camera itself, so that's very good. We also get a printed instruction manual. Again, great to see that you at least get some printed instructions for the camera. Well done, Sony. It's very well laid out, very easy to follow. Now we move inside the box. You get a power cable dependent on your country with a figure eight adapter on the other end. This is obviously a UK three pin plug. And we also get an uh, AV cable, which has got, unfortunately, a proprietary connection on one end. And on the other end, we've got a USB connector and video and audio cables. We get a battery charger, so you can actually charge the battery outside of the camera. This is very handy, actually, because some of the cameras you get nowadays, you charge the battery inside the camera. At least with this one, you can charge your spare battery if you have one and you're, you're ready to go all the time. Battery itself, lithium ion battery from Sony. This is a battery with a model number NPBG1. Just take a look around the back. It's a 910 milliamp hour battery. So for this uh, small camera, that should provide ample power probably to get around about 300 shots from a single charge. Camera itself comes with a lanyard uh, already attached. This is the, the camera which we're going to take a closer look at now for you. So this is a close-up of the Sony Cybershot DSC-WX1. On the front of the camera we've got a small flash unit. We've got one of Sony's uh, G rated lenses which is meant to be top quality optics in the Sony range. We've also uh, can note here it's got a five times optical zoom which I'll be showing you how effective that is later on in the second part of this review. Around the bottom of the unit we have got the uh, proprietary connection for that USB and AV out cable this is also used for their party shot add-on, which you can buy separately, which controls the camera to take uh, pictures within a party situation. We've also got a tripod mount, and then this cover here, which we can slide open, houses the battery and the memory card. Now putting the battery in, very, very simple. Just simply slot into place and this little blue tab locks it into place. Now the camera doesn't come with any internal memory. It actually only uses Memory Stick Pro Duos. And for this review, we're gonna be using a Lexar Memory Stick Pro Duo Mark II, which uh, Lexar have kindly loaned us for the review. And I'll be telling you more about this memory card and its pricing later on, but this simply pops into the unit like so, and then you click it down into place. On this side of the camera we've got the lanyard connector and nothing else and then on the other side of the camera it's completely blank. The top of the camera houses the on off button. It also houses the microphone here and the shutter button and also the continuous shooting or single shooting mode button here. Around the back of the camera, we've got a 2.7 inch 
LCD screen. Uh, I'll show you that again later on. It's very bright, nicely detailed, 230,000 pixel resolution. And we have a widened telephoto button there for zooming in and out. We have a mode dial for selecting various modes of the camera. Play button for playing back uh, recorded shots and recorded footage. And then we have a four-way rocker switch with an uh, enter button in the middle. Uh, the rocker switch controls self-timer mode, smile shot mode, flash, and also the various display modes. Underneath we've got a menu button, and then we've got a trash can button. So that's a walk around of the uh, user interface for you. Now let's take a look at the camera in action and some of the features. This video review is sponsored by Academy Class, the UK's premier creative IT training centre, authorised by Adobe, Apple and Autodesk.